This Libre Time tutorial is intended for people who are setting up the radio station website and want an introduction to how you can use the Libre Time Player widget to add a Libre Time Player and Calendar to your website. When you first go to Libre Time Instance, you'll see the radio page. Essentially, the widgets allow you to embed the schedule and player from this page on different web pages using something called an iframe. So log in. And then we're going to click on widgets here. The player will be selected by default. You can change the title, but then you'll need to click the stream if you want to have it applied down here. It's actually kind of just a glitch. Now you see it down there. You can also manually edit that. Now you're going to copy this into our clipboard. And the next part will require you to have access to your station's website to add the code. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to create a text HTML file. So this will be a very simple HTML file with nothing other than HTML brackets. And we'll paste that in there and we'll save it as radio player .html. Okay, now save it somewhere. Now you can open this file with your web browser and it should play your station. So we're going to go here and open the file and how do you even open files nowadays in There it is. Control out. Modified. And there you go. We're offline, so nothing's going to air, but that shows you. Basically, if you put that anywhere, you can open it up and it'll play your station. You can put it on your web page. The web player currently relies on Flash in some cases and can definitely use some improvements. It also, if you run into issues, if your website uses HTTPS, and your LibreTime instant does not. Most likely you'll be adding this code to your existing station website or relying upon the LibreTime radio page as your home page. So if you already have a web page and you want to add the player, this is how you can do it. Now we're going to do the same thing with the schedule. So we're going to go back to the LibreTime page and click on Weekly Schedule. And then we're going to copy this. Now I don't, I'm currently operating off of an empty LibreTime instance, so there's nothing on here. But and once you have your instance populated, you will see your shows for each of the different days and their times. So you can see in the future the one I set up. Okay, and so most likely what we'll do is we'll just open up that again. And we will add this iframe below the other one, water break, so that they're not in the same line. Save it, and we'll go back here, open up a new tab. And there you can see the weekly schedule. So these widgets rely on your station LibreTime instance being publicly accessible to the web through a common URL. Also, the Facebook widget doesn't currently work and would require also an app ID setup and possibly somebody to debug the code. We might remove it from future versions if nobody spends the time to test it and make it work. Another section that LibreTime could use some work is the station's podcast module under My Podcast. It doesn't currently work as of the time of this tutorial, we suggest if you're looking to host a podcast for your station, you look into a third-party situation or spend some time contributing to test the podcast code. All right, thanks for tuning in to this Libre Time tutorial. Hope it was helpful, and as always, you can find out more information and ask questions at discourse.libretime.org, or you can go to github.com slash libretime slash libretime. Thanks for listening and watching this video.